I think people will enjoy seeing such a politically driven but also really funny at the same time. It's very accessible. Joe was, play. was really known as, as one of the very early and very aggressive attackers of communism. And it's really interesting when in the, in the first scene of the play, you see this man sort of titan fighting the, 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 the red threat mm -hmm. in a room with a young man who lives daily in that system, who experiences the bread line. John is so gracious and helpful and ready to work and nice. He's so wonderful. He's like a, you know, he plays my, he plays my stepfather in the play and I feel like he, he is a father figure to me. pretty boy who gets by on charm and his daddy's money. What sort of Latin teacher is this? No wonder you're failing. The man sounds like a boob. She's a woman. Uh, uh, uh. Let me guess. Sixty-ish, mannish hands, trace of a mustache, flask in her desk drawer, virgin, possibly lesbian. No. Uh, voted for Wendell Wilkie. <laughs> Who's Wendell Wilkie? My God, Susan. What sort of education is this child receiving? Who's the first president you remember? Truman. Really? Hmm? She was born in 1946, Joe. So more or less your entire political consciousness, your understanding of the modern presidency itself has been shaped by Dwight Eisenhower. I guess so. Oh, you poor child. Here, come sit with Uncle Joe. <laughs> I didn't expect the play to be so funny. We didn't actually know that it was much more of a comedy than, you know, it, we, we didn't expect that, I think, in rehearsal. And that always comes with having an audience and having people there. Um.